Unearthed Injustice, The Secret Land Sale to Rung Zan Company in Ayahaleo Commune. The struggle for land rights and justice often reveals the complexities of socio-political dynamics, particularly in marginalized communities. In the Ayahaleo Commune of Dark Lac Province, Vietnam, the Diga indigenous people face a grave injustice that underscores a troubling intersection of authority, land ownership, and community welfare. Recently, the Hanoi police took drastic measures by arresting and confiscating the tractor of Diga farmers, a symbolic gesture that not only highlights the tensions between the state and indigenous communities, but also raises questions about the legality and morality of land transactions. The core of this issue lies in the clandestine sale of Diga ancestral fields to the Rung Zan Company, facilitated by the chairman of the Ayahaleo Commune Committee without any community consultation or transparency. This incident reveals a broader narrative of exploitation and betrayal, as the Diga people, who depend on their land for sustenance and cultural identity, are now confronted with the threat of losing their livelihoods. The actions of the Hanoi police, ostensibly justified by the Commune Committee's decisions, further complicate the situation, illustrating the power dynamics at play. As we delve deeper into this issue, it is essential to explore the roles of various stakeholders, the implications of the secret land sale, and the profound impact on the Diga indigenous community. This examination aims to illuminate the injustices faced by the Diga people and advocate for their rights in the face of systemic oppression. The Role of Hanoi Police The involvement of Hanoi Police in the arrest and confiscation of the Diga indigenous people's tractor has raised significant concerns regarding the enforcement of law and order in the context of indigenous rights. The actions taken by these law enforcement officials can be seen as a manifestation of systemic injustices faced by marginalized communities in Vietnam. Initially, the police justified their actions by claiming that the tractor was being used illegally, a rationale that appears to be more of a pretext than a legitimate concern for law enforcement. The Diga indigenous people, traditionally reliant on their land for farming, were left vulnerable as the police executed their orders without considering the socio-economic implications for the community. This act of confiscation not only stripped the Diga people of their means of production, but also served as a direct threat to their livelihood. Moreover, the police's decision to bring the confiscated tractor to the Commune Committee indicates complicity in the larger scheme involving the secret land sale to Rung Zan Company. By aligning themselves with the interests of the local government, the Hanoi police effectively became enforcers of an unjust transaction that undermined the rights of the indigenous population. Their actions suggest a troubling disregard for the principles of justice and equity, as they opted to serve the interests of a private entity over the rights of indigenous citizens. The intimidation tactics employed by the police further exacerbate the situation. By threatening the Diga indigenous people with the cessation of their farming activities, they not only instill fear but also signal a broader governmental strategy to suppress dissent and maintain control over land and resources. This approach demonstrates a troubling trend wherein law enforcement is used as a tool to facilitate land dispossession rather than protect the rights of vulnerable populations. In essence, the role of Hanoi police in this incident reveals a complex interplay of power, authority, and injustice. Their actions reflect a broader systemic issue wherein law enforcement is used to uphold decisions made by local authorities that may not be in the best interest of the community. The implications of such actions extend beyond the immediate confiscation of the tractor, highlighting the urgent need for a critical examination of the relationship between law enforcement and indigenous rights in Vietnam. The Secret Land Sale The clandestine sale of the Diga indigenous people's fields to the Rung Zan Company represents a profound breach of trust and an egregious violation of indigenous rights. This transaction, shrouded in secrecy, highlights the systemic inequities faced by marginalized communities in Vietnam, particularly the Diga people who have historically relied on these lands for their sustenance and cultural identity. The sale was executed without the consent or knowledge of the Diga community, raising critical questions about the legality and ethics of such actions. 
The Ayahaleo Commune Committee's decision to sell indigenous lands reflects a broader pattern of exploitation where local authorities prioritize corporate interests over the rights of indigenous populations. This transactional relationship undermines the principles of social justice and equity, as it disregards the inherent rights of the Diga people to their ancestral lands. Moreover, the lack of transparency in the sale process further exacerbates the injustice. The Diga people were not informed of the negotiations, nor were they given an opportunity to contest the decision. This exclusion from the decision-making process signifies a deeper systemic issue where indigenous voices are systematically marginalized. The clandestine nature of the sale exemplifies a failure of governance, where local leaders prioritize personal or financial gain over their responsibility to protect the rights and welfare of their constituents. The implications of this secret land sale are far-reaching. The Diga community's access to land, which is vital for agriculture and cultural practices, has been compromised. This not only threatens their economic stability but also jeopardizes the cultural heritage and way of life. The loss of land represents a loss of identity for the Diga people, as land is intrinsically linked to their cultural narratives, traditions, and communal relationships. In summary, the secret sale of the Diga indigenous people's fields to the Rung Zan Company is emblematic of a larger pattern of exploitation faced by indigenous communities. The actions of the Ayahaleo Commune Committee, characterized by a lack of transparency and disregard for the rights of the Diga people, highlight the urgent need for accountability and reform in land governance practices. Addressing these injustices is crucial for restoring the dignity and rights of indigenous populations and ensuring that their voices are heard in matters that directly affect their lives. The Impact on the Diga Indigenous Community The clandestine sale of land by the chairman of the Ayahaleo Commune Committee to the Rung Zan Company has had profound ramifications for the Diga Indigenous Community. This incident not only undermines the community's agricultural practices but also threatens the cultural identity and socio-economic stability. Farming is the backbone of the Diga people's livelihoods, providing sustenance and economic security. The confiscation of their tractor by the Hanoi Police acts as a direct assault on their ability to cultivate the land, further exacerbating their plight. Without access to farming equipment, the Diga indigenous people face significant challenges in maintaining their agricultural outputs, which are crucial for their survival. The loss of their fields not only diminishes their crops but also erodes their autonomy, as they become increasingly dependent on external entities for their basic needs. Moreover, the secret land sale disrupts the community's traditional practices and way of life. The Diga people have cultivated these lands for generations, passing down agricultural knowledge and cultural significance associated with their fields. The alienation from their ancestral land threatens to sever these ties, potentially leading to a disintegration of the cultural heritage and identity. The psychological impact of being forcibly removed from their land can lead to feelings of helplessness, disenfranchisement, and loss of community cohesion. Additionally, the socio-economic implications of this land sale extend beyond immediate agricultural concerns. The Diga community may experience increased poverty as their ability to generate income diminishes. The introduction of corporate interests, such as the Rung Zan Company, often leads to a prioritization of profit over community welfare, further marginalizing indigenous populations. As these corporations expand their operations, the Diga people may find themselves increasingly excluded from decision-making processes that affect their lives, resulting in a loss of agency and control over their future. In summary, the ramifications of the secret land sale to the Rung Zan Company are extensive and detrimental to the Diga indigenous community. The direct impact on their farming activities poses a threat to their livelihoods, while the broader socio-cultural implications jeopardize their identity and autonomy. This situation underscores the urgent need for awareness and intervention to protect the rights and interests of indigenous populations in the face of corporate encroachment. The role of the chairman of the Ayahaleo Commune Committee the chairman of the Ayahaleo Commune Committee plays a pivotal role in the governance and administration of land management within the commune. 
In the context of the secret land sale to the Rong Zan Company, the actions of this official have raised serious questions regarding ethics, transparency, and accountability. The chairman's decision to sell the lands traditionally used by the Diga indigenous people without their knowledge or consent reflects a blatant disregard for the rights of the local community and highlights systemic issues within local governance. First and foremost, the chairman's actions can be characterized as a betrayal of trust. Local leaders are expected to serve as guardians of their community's interests, ensuring that the voices of the people are heard and respected. By unilaterally deciding to sell the land, the chairman not only violated this trust but also undermined the very foundation of community governance. This act of selling land that belonged to the Diga people without informing him about the transaction is not just a breach of ethical conduct. It exemplifies a larger pattern of exploitation faced by indigenous communities. Moreover, the lack of transparency in the land sale process raises critical questions about accountability. The chairman's decision appears to have been made in secrecy, with no community consultation or participation. This lack of engagement with the Diga people perpetuates a colonial mindset where external entities impose decisions upon marginalized groups without their input. Such actions contribute to a climate of fear and oppression, as evidenced by the police's subsequent threats to the Diga people regarding their farming activities. Additionally, the motivations behind the chairman's actions warrant scrutiny. It is essential to consider whether personal gain or external pressures influence the decision to sell the land to the Rung Zan Company. The potential for corruption and self-interest in local governance cannot be overlooked, especially when the livelihoods of indigenous communities hang in the balance. Such behavior not only harms the Diga people but also tarnishes the reputation of the commune leadership as a whole. In conclusion, the role of the chairman of the Aya Haleo Commune Committee in the secret land sale to the Rong Zan Company exemplifies a failure of ethical leadership, accountability, and respect for indigenous rights. By prioritizing personal or external interests over the needs and rights of the Diga people, the chairman has not only committed an injustice but has also contributed to the ongoing marginalization of indigenous communities in Vietnam. This situation calls for urgent reforms to ensure that local governance is conducted transparently and inclusively, allowing all community members to participate in decisions that affect their lives and livelihoods. In conclusion, the situation surrounding the secret land sale to the Rung Zan Company highlights a significant injustice faced by the Diga indigenous people in Aya Haleo Commune. The actions of the Hanoi police, who confiscated the tractor of the Diga community and threatened their ability to farm, underscore the systemic issues of authority and power dynamics at play. It becomes evident that the chairman of the Aya Haleo Commune Committee acted unilaterally in selling the land, without the consent or knowledge of the Diga indigenous people, effectively stealing their rightful property. This betrayal not only undermines the trust between the community and local governance, but also exacerbates the socio-economic challenges faced by the Diga people. The ramifications of such actions extend beyond the immediate loss of land, impacting cultural identity, livelihoods, and the overall well-being of the community. Thus, the incident serves as a stark reminder of the ongoing struggles for land rights and justice among indigenous populations, necessitating urgent attention and action from both governmental and non-governmental entities to rectify these injustices.